Good morning, LHS, and welcome to the Advisory Report. I'm Hannah Brulard, and here are your morning announcements. This weekend, countless numbers of people will, will pay their last respects to Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who passed away this week at the age of 87. Justice Ginsburg was a pioneer of women's and civil rights. Rest in peace, RBG. It is important to remember that authorities are enforcing social distancing rules. One Massachusetts couple and their teenager, who had a party for up to 60 friends, were charged with criminal offenses, and their school was forced to switch to remote learning because police could not identify about 15 teens who ran away during their arrests. Do your part in keeping you and everyone around you safe. Outrage and heartbreak boiled over the protest in cities across the U.S. on Wednesday after news broke that none of the three officers involved in Breonna Taylor's death were charged for their killing. More than six months after Taylor was shot to death, a grand jury decided to indict only one of the three officers involved on first-degree wanton endangerment, endangerment charges. The charge applies to the risk put on Taylor's neighbors, but does not hold the officer responsible for her death. In Louisville, a protest led to a shooting where two police officers suffered non-threatening if you are 18 and still have not registered to vote, simply go to vote.sos.ri.gov to get the job done. The deadline to register is October 4th. If you're looking for a school sports schedule, sit tight. The schedule could be out as early as today. Games will start up soon. Remember, when you are in a virtual class, be sure to listen, make sure to stay focused and do your work. Don't disrupt and follow all classroom rules. It will make class so much more pleasant. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. And don't forget, dude, be nice.